We've heard different information regarding eggs over the past 40 years, including whether they're healthy. Whether or not we'll explore the facts about eggs and heart disease in today's video before putting an end to the debate. Do eggs cause heart disease? Do they raise cholesterol levels? Should you completely avoid them? These are all legitimate questions that could leave anyone feeling overburdened and confused. We'll look at the information, evaluate some key studies, and dispel myths about this controversial cuisine. We'll also discuss the main problems that eggs may create and how to prevent them for good. Please continue to watch as we reveal the truth about eggs and heart disease to arm you with the knowledge you need to make the best choices for your heart and overall health. However, before we do that, would you kindly do us a favor and learn about our most recent films and assist us in spreading the word about heart disease prevention by clicking the thumbs up and ringing the bell. We want to make sure that you have access to the most recent information. However, many doctors and scientists are debating whether cholesterol and saturated fats really are the root causes of heart disease. For instance, in the well-known 2004 Rotterdam study, researchers discovered lower rat blood cholesterol levels. We also have the French Parade study. In 1961, Ansel Case proposed that saturated fats and dietary cholesterol were the main causes of heart disease despite mounting evidence to the contrary. Statistics show that despite these foods generally negative associations with cholesterol, only 50% of heart attack victims have high cholesterol levels, meaning that the other 50% of heart attack victims have cholesterol levels that are within the normal range but still experience heart attacks. Even more intriguing studies suggest that those with higher cholesterol may live longer, for example. In a 1992 study, American researchers discovered that low cholesterol was linked to an increased risk of death from gastrointestinal and respiratory disorders. Similar to the above, a 2007 meta-analysis of 23 studies published in the British Medical Journal found that patients with low concentrations of LDL cholesterol who took statins had a significantly higher risk of being diagnosed with cancer than those with higher concentrations of cholesterol than those with low concentrations of LDL cholesterol. The same study followed over 10,000 healthy people for 15 years and found that those with low cholesterol were more likely to be hospitalized for infectious diseases. When it gets corroded or destroyed when cholesterol particles are oxidized, they disrupt cellular function and integrity, causing inflammation and contributing to other health issues. Oxidation occurs when cholesterol particles are exposed to free radicals, unstable molecules that harm cells and tissues in the body. These factors include smoking, eating toxic foods, and other things. A carbohydrate-restricted diet was followed by all 28 overweight or obese men, and 50 of them also consumed three eggs daily. The carbohydrate restriction decreased the risk of metabolic syndrome in both groups, but the egg group also saw an increase in HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol levels. HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol is the function of dose to transport extra cholesterol from the circulation to the liver. Whether or whether there are any limitations the high quality protein they contain, which comprises all nine necessary amino acids, can be looked on as one of the most noticeable benefits of eggs full nutritional profile which includes a wide variety of vital vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. These amino acids are crucial for a number of procedures, such as the development and repair of muscles and the genitalia. Eggs' high protein content is a strong source of energy and aids in the synthesis of hormones and enzymes. Additionally, eggs are a great source of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated good fats, which are necessary for the production of hormones, the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, and brain function. Additionally, eggs include omega-3 fatty acids, which are recognized for reducing the risk of heart disease and AIDS and suppressing inflammation. Additionally, eggs contain significant amounts of iron, zinc, and selenium, which are necessary for the production of red blood cells and immune health, as well as vitamins A, D, and B, which support healthy vision, strong bones, and normal nerve function. Choline is also necessary for the synthesis of cell membranes. Choline deficiency is associated with a number of health concerns, including fatty liver disease, difficulties with the pancreas and kidneys, and may prevent neural tube problems later in life. It is essential during pregnancy because it supports fetal brain development and may prevent neural tube problems later in life.
Eating eggs is a wise way to get enough choline and prevent deficiencies as a choline deficiency is linked to muscle deterioration, elevated homocysteine levels, and a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. Moreover, several antioxidants present in eggs, such as lutein and zigxanthin, enhance eye health. First Heart Disease Code will offer you a free book if you'd like. Everyone who is concerned about their cardiovascular health should watch The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol and the Untold's first episode. Back to the video. Choosing what to eat requires considering both the type of food and the process used to produce it. For instance, eggs from pasture-raised and free-range hens have higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, vitamin E, and other essential nutrients than eggs from hens kept in cages. On the other hand, Caged hens are frequently housed in small spaces where they are unable to walk and only eat commercial chicken feed. Enjoy a fantastic heart-healthy day and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well.